it is Binky back today with yet another delicious treat. I think I say this every time. Yeah, that's baby Mina in the background. I have two cats now. I'm done, but there she is. Yeah, just want to throw that in there. She snuck up and wanted to join, so here we are. So today I'm going to be trying something a little bit spicy and savory. And it is the tempura seaweed yummy treat here. Um, now, this is a product of Hong Kong, or it's distributed from Hong Kong. Well, it's actually distributed from Bayonne, New Jersey. <laughs> yeah, I've been to Bayonne. Now, not ripping on you, but Bayonne has its own flavor, and it wants to add this to its flavor, which is the tempura seaweed. It is a spicy flavor, and if anyone knows me, they know I'm a spicy kind of girl, so I am a fan. Um, the ingredients are here, and I am proud to say it is gluten. Not gluten-free. It has gluten. You know, most people aren't advertising that anymore, but I don't have a sensitivity to it. But here you go. Yeah. So, yeah. I had these, uh, sort of like these before, um, but it was from a Japanese company. But this one is indeed from, well, no, it's actually a product of Thailand. Sorry, Hong Kong, I'm taking it away. I'm not taking away Thailand's thunder. This is a product of Thailand. I know Hong Kong, sorry. Biggie makes mistakes. So you unzip the top, which I just did, and then it's a zippable bag, which I appreciate. It's better than folding everything over and clipping it. And I don't know how to place that scent. Um. Normally seaweed has a specific scent to this, to it, but this doesn't. I don't know. It smells like a cross between cat food and like a cracker, a spicy cracker. This is not an insult. That's just what it smells like. But, um, wow. Okay, these are really small chips because I've had something similar in the past and it was actually bigger. And looking at the packaging, I thought they would be a little bit bigger. And even on the back, right there. They look a little bigger, but they're they're kind of bite size, and so you have the seaweed there, and then the cracker on the back, which has uh, orange coloring to it, because that is the spice. You know what it kind of reminds me of is like salmon. So this looks like salmon and the skin, and I always peel the skin off because I'm a big old baby. But um, let's see. Okay, it smells a little bit um, less cat foodish. <laughs> I hate saying that because people are like you're insulting my food, but it kind of did. So it has like a cracker smell with spice to it. It's not, it almost smells like barbecue actually. You smell the side, this side smells like barbecue. All right, well let's give it a whirl. Wow, that is really crunchy. <laughs> um, hmm. This is a cracker that's kind of hard to pin down. What's interesting about this is seaweed is actually a very strong flavor, and I'm not getting that from this. This is really odd. I have to try it again. This is very, very strange. Hmm. So, when you, wow, this is a confusing product. When, when you first try it, the first thing that hits is the salt. As soon as you put it on your tongue, boom, salty. That's the first thing that hits is the salt and the crunchiness. And then there's kind of a grainy taste to it. Like obviously it's a cracker, but you can't really tell what it is. Then you get the seaweed flavor. And now I'm finally after eating two, getting the spiciness. It sounds so weird, but it's really kind of a complex flavor. Really salty at first. And then there's that sweet kind of cracker taste, very crunchy and the salt keeps hitting you, and then there's the seaweed. The seaweed comes in, and then it's just the spice. Like The spice is still hanging around. It's not, spi it's not overly spicy. If you're really sensitive to spice, then this may be too spicy for you, but for somebody like me, it, it's mild. It's just tingling on my tongue a little bit, but I know some friends who'd be dying, which is kind of sad, but I really like spicy food. I just, I don't know how to describe this. I mean, I described it well, I think, but it really is complex because I can't really place any specific flavors to this. 
because even though it's really salty, there's also kind of this gentle sweetness to it. It's really complex, which I kind of like. You know, I spent two ninety nine, which is a little expensive. <laughs> yeah, I, know. I think they gouged me a little bit, but two ninety nine is kind of this complex, kind of delicious, um, complex flavor. Yeah, it almost has a little bit of a soy sauce taste to it too. Yeah, and the seaweed is barely there. So if you don't like really strong seaweed flavor, it doesn't have an overly strong seaweed flavor to it. It's just this salty taste, almost with soy sauce added, um, this sweet, tangy, spicy flavor to it, and a little hint of the seaweed to make it a little bit, um, just add that little extra to it. I really like these. I just think for $3, I should have a big bag because I'm greedy, because I could eat these all the time, and probably would. Because I only had three, and look at it, half the package is gone already. So that's an expensive little snack for me. But I have to say, I'm going to give this a definite thumbs up. If you like a little bit of spice, you would like this. If you're not big into spicy food, you may not enjoy this. But it's not overly adventurous, especially if you kind of like to dabble in seaweed, but you don't like it too much. I'm a fan, but not everybody is. It's kind of like an afterthought because it's so thin on top of the cracker and the spice just kicks it up. It's just a little bit of hint. So this is for you if you want to try um, some seaweed product and... Yeah, get some of the benefits of seaweed into your system. This is the way to do it, though your sodium will go sky high. Bye, blood pressure. Eh, Dems out of the brakes. So <laughs> that's my review for today. I hope you are well, and until next time, have a fabulous week. Bye.